Sit up. If you knew you did not have the heart for this, why did you start in the first place? Mommy, please do not push my buttons. My husband is lying down in the sitting room right now and I don't even know what is going through his mind. <laughs> Were you not the one who asked him to leave the room? Yes, I did. Because I thought that he would go there and muscle out a member of his family for you. Or maybe for himself. But what did he do? Nothing. He's just there lying down in the sitting room. I don't even know how I got married to that weakling. His family has eaten deep into him. That kind of man, he needs time to draw him out of the tentacles of his family. He needs to learn to focus on you and you alone. Exactly what I'm trying to do, mommy, but I am scared. What if one day he chooses his real family over me? That will never happen. You see the thing? Before I allowed you marry Mark, I studied him very well. Mark is a family-oriented man. He believes in family togetherness. He will never send you out of this house. But in the same vein, <laughs> he will never send his family out either, just like that. He would rather hurt himself or commit suicide than send his family away. He is that rooted in family togetherness. The only way to get them out is to get the family members irritated so they leave on their own accord. Because if you're waiting for Mark to send them out, <laughs> you're going to wait a long, long time. But is, is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's both good and bad. It is good. Because no matter what you do, Mark will never send you away. But on the flip side, it is bad because he will never send his family away. It is left to you to play the game. And that is why I am here, to play that game with you and get them out of this house. Mom, don't you think him sleeping in the sitting room is wrong? <laughs> All is fair in love and war, my dear. All is fair in love and war. Son can no longer sleep in his house. What's happening? Your brother is there, sleeping in the sitting room. Eh? His wife drove him out of his bedroom because of her mother. That says we cannot give her a space to stay. So the only option is to ask your brother to leave his bedroom. And he agreed. You know your brother. He has little or no strength to do anything. Oh, sometimes I wonder what he really wants in life. For barely two weeks, and I watch my son turn into a shadow of himself. I know Mark can never stand up for himself. He never considers violence as part of life. Forgetting that 
Some people don't understand any other language except violence. Panama, I'll clear his doubts. What are you going to do now? If my brother cannot sleep in that room, nobody else sleep in that room! You hear me? What are you saying? Mama, watch me. happy person but in less than two weeks in just less than two weeks everything has changed I don't even know how to feel I don't know how to I don't know how to think oh my god I can't take it anymore enough is enough are you even trying to drive me insane it is your useless family that is trying to drive you crazy she's not us she, she's still talking Shut your mouth! Shut up! I beg you, in the name of everything you hold there, shut your trap. If not for your stupid demands, do you think this once happy family we will still be happy? Are you trying to say that it is my daughter that is destroying your family? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Yes, of course. With all due respect, ma, your question deserves no answer. This used to be a happy family. This used to be a peaceful, loving, caring, jovial family. Even while I was dating your daughter, we were peaceful. What was the reason for you asking me to send my people out of the house? Do I need a drum to beat it into your head? Because I need my privacy! But we have that privacy! Don't we have our bedroom upstairs? I do not want the privacy of the bedroom alone. I want the privacy of the entire house because it is my house! You carry it on your head now. Mm -mm. It is my house! Mm -hmm. I, I want every member of your family to leave! Mm -hmm. Let them leave! So that we can have space to fix our marriage! Mm -hmm. Is that too difficult to ask? Yeah, no, it, is, now. it is not difficult to ask. It is not difficult. It is so easy. Is it for somebody that doesn't have family support or who doesn't have a family story? Not for somebody like me that knows where I am headed and where I am coming from. This is my family. They've been with me. They've stood by me when I had nothing, when I was nobody. And you don't expect me to push them just because I want to please you. Just because I want to please you. I, baby, I understand your demands. I understand your challenges, but, but please, I beg you, enough is enough. I am tired and there's a limit to what a man can bear. I beg you!
Are you happy now? Are you happy now? Boss off! Baby, 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 wish. Mosquito. Ah, Vivian, what have we done to you to deserve this? <laughs> ah. 